Hello YouTube, and welcome to another DBT Gamer Special. We're back with the Resident Evil 8 demo again. This time, we've got the castle demo to explore and experience. I had um, a couple of comments on the last video from, from, a, from one of my viewers. I've been through the options that I've done my best to try and make the um, brightness of the level, if at least, slightly better, but we'll just have to see how things go. So, fingers crossed, hopefully this bit of tweaking that I did in the options menu makes things a little bit more... Um, better in the viewing department. We'll go with standard difficulty just as last time. Same as last time, we've only got 30 minutes to play, which it's not enough time. You only get to go through the dem demo once. It's not enough play it's not enough um times to play it. Okay uh, argument you could create a second PS4 account and then play the demo twice. But you shouldn't have to. I hate to sound like an old, an old grandpa here, but back in my day when I was younger, you could play a demo as many times as you wanted, as long as you put the demo disc in your PlayStation. Or if you went to like a games convention, you could just queue up at the booth again, just wait a while, and you could go back into the booth and have a go at it. None of this, um... It, I just... I mean... I kind of get where Capcom's coming from. They don't want to show off too much of their game. So that there's plenty of mystery behind it. So that people want to buy it and experience the story. I understand that. I get that. But... 30 minutes is a pretty strict time limit. Okay. We'll play as Ethan again. And this time we're in a castle. Now, there was a castle demo before this, but that demo was exclusive to the PlayStation 5, and I don't have a PS5, so I wasn't able to explore that demo. But from what I've seen, that demo had no combat. You just explored a house. Ooh, uh, some sort of wine glass. Okay. Yeah, you just explored a house, uh, a, a, a dusty basement dungeon. Apparently the... The PS5 has got some very realistic uh, graphics. And some of the um, graphics and textures, they looked almost a bit too realistic for, for me. Example, there's um, like um, possibly vomit or, um, or just something that looks... Um, gross in the um, demo for the PS5 and that's that's just stuff I don't like to see see it's just unpleasant sometimes I wonder if graphics have come way too far if we can make um, t t t certain things look too realistic I'm all for progress but s certain things are just unpleasant no matter how no matter how pretty you make them look. Oops. I brought the plate. Oh well. That's one thing I like to do in Resident Evil 4. For I um, used to uh, stab all the barrels and get um, loot. And other nonsense. Okay, that's a, that requires a, a lot pick of some kind. I'm hoping this... Castle demo is somewhat more straightforward in terms of exploration. I mean, it's inside. Oh, just locked on the other side. It's it's inside, so maybe a bit bit more linear and a little less open. But okay, we can go into the fireplace. Secret tunnel. But. 
So, yeah. Oh! Okay. That's a furry thing. My guess that was either a mouse or a rat. I have a one. At times, mice can be cute. I, I, I have got friends who keep mice as pets. And... But they can be cute, adorable animals that you can... That can be quite, um... Soothing to keep as pets. But also... Uh, Rats and mice have the um, a, a tendency to, to carry disease and stuff. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Well, it's very gothic, just like the last demo. Got a statue. Is that religious? Is that... Um... Actually, it's probably not religious. It's a, it's a mother taking care of a baby. I mean, it could be argued that it's um, like... Um, Mary taking care of baby Jesus, but that's a stretch. <laughs> I'm not religious, or I'm not really a religious person, but maybe I'm reading way too deep into just a random statue. Okay. Uh, okay. There's very little I can see there. Suit of armor. My controller's vibrating. Oh. Before I go out for those double doors, I'm going to search this room. Just in case. Cause... Okay, camp fluid. And. Uh, no, there's, there's not much else. I've got a, I've got a first aid bottle. That's nice. Okay, some gunpowder. Okay. Looks like I've changed the recipes. In Resident Evil 7, I distinctly remember you could combine um, gunpowder with chemical fluid to make handgun bullets. And there was also the option of um, combining chemp fluid with a, with a herb to make a herb bottle, you know, to make a, a healing bottle. So. Where have they taken Rose? Okay, from I remember Rose is Ethan's daughter. Okay, I can't use it there. This looks like a quite a complex uh, puzzle. It seems to require four objects, which happens in a lot of Resident Evil games, old and new. I remember in the first game, you have to collect uh, on the PlayStation 1 and DS and Sega Saturn. You had to collect four crests, and they opened the uh, the gates, so you could get into the garden and then make your way through the through the uh, backyard, the outhouse, and, and walk past the huge waterfall. Uh, in the remake, it was changed to four masks, and you had to fight a. Uh, uh, a crimson head, which is a rather dangerous enemy. Okay, just got 13 more bullets. So far, very quiet, very little music, just grunts and slashy sounds from my knife, and obviously handgun bullets if I wish to use them, which I'm not going to unless, unless something actually comes towards me at that pose of the threat. Right now my knife will probably suffice. Well I say knife, this thing's a it's a very tiny knife. <laughs> so, okay. 
And I'm going to go for the, the, those um, big double doors. But first, I'm going to get the hand grenade out. Just, just in case. It, 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 if anything, it'll make me feel a tiny bit safer. Not saying this handgun's some sort of placebo, but it makes me feel safe because I've got a lot. At least I've got a long-range weapon. Okay, up, up these stairs, and we've got a chandelier. Now I do recognise this from some of the screenshots of the um, PS5 demo. I think in the PS5 demo you weren't even playing as Eva; you were playing as a different character. Okay. Got a very fragile looking teacup and teapot <sighs> gotta be honest I have never been a, f a, a fan of um, of a fragile um, tea stuff you know uh, you know just just fa fragile fancy tea drinking and tea serving stuff Yes, it looks nice, but I like. I, I'm rather a clumsy person by nature, so if I ever have to handle anything that's um, super fragile, I'm like. extra careful, or just. Um, I, I always try not to break it, but I'm always really anxious about breaking whatever is in my hand. I just don't like fragile stuff, it's... I wouldn't call it a phobia, but it's just... Definitely makes me feel uneasy when I handle that sort of thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Can I shoot this and get a thing? Well, that seemed to work. I've just, I've, I've just noticed the it's the um, same handgun from the first demo. Which, which would make sense, because... I mean, I, I I am guessing that um you might be okay. More coins. Don't know why I I won't get to use them. I mean, it's nice that they're there, so they show you the mechanic, but you're not gonna get to use them in the demo. Um. So yeah, yeah. In Resident Evil Four, you could shoot uh sparkly things, and you get um. Like rewards, like treasures. This was also a thing in Resident Evil Five, and I think Uncharted. A lot of the Uncharted games. Okay, a crystal fragment. What on earth is that? Okay, it's some sort of treasure. Is that something I can sell or combine together to? Okay, this ring looks like a key item, which it gets in the key items pocket. I do like how it's expanding the inventory, so everything's got its own little um, thing. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This, that's uh, like a mask? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Ah, to get, to get the um, eyeball, disassemble it a little bit. And now, if we click on it, we can put it in there, and that should open this. That's a puzzle I can solve in, in less than 30 minutes. You know, that's the sort of puzzle that the uh, village demo needed. You know, just something simple and... <sighs> Relatively easy to figure out. Okay, maybe I could have figured out that coin puzzle in the last video that I made on this demo. By the time. Oh! Okay, got bugs. What? I think they're bugs? Yeah, they're, 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 they're like hornets, they're, and they're flying out of my hand. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular. And just watch. Taking a live dead. Which would you prefer? 
How's it feel? I don't like you. You are creepy and, and just very unsettling. Yeah, I know she's supposed to be creepy and very unsettling, but she's especially unsettling. Stay, stay back. Okay. Okay, I'll yeah. make myself a new he healing um thing. Okay. Mother said stale, but I can feel delicious. Please, just stay back. <laughs> we, we don't have to fight. Can we please just have a tea party? <laughs> or, or do, okay, wine room. Aha. Can I mix some Molotov cocktails? Okay. I am not making anything out of what little things I have. I've got seven bullets left. That's that's just great. I don't know if my bullets are even landing or even hurting her. Okay, I've got diet. I've got a, I've got a note here, but I haven't got time to read that. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Fine. I, I have seen some rather strange theories on Resident Evil 8 that, that people have been coming up with. So I, people's brains are running rampant trying to figure out the game's plot and stuff. One theory is that Chris Redfield's going to die at the end of the game. Eh, it's a possibility, I suppose, but... If he does die, I hope he goes down a hero. Uh, a newer theory that people have is um, that Albert Wesker might still be alive in some form. Like he might, his brain might be stored on a hard drive, like Alex Wesker. He's a sort of s sibling, or the um, Wesker that died in Resident Evil Five was like a clone or something. Personally, I'd rather Wesker stay dead. I was pretty happy with the way he died in Resident Evil 5. It felt final. It felt... It felt climactic. It felt... It felt like a good boss fight. If... You know, if, that, if, if Wesker was still alive after being... Chris Boulder Redfielded into a, into a volcano, shot in the back numerous times with magnums, um, rifles, machine guns, and whatever else she had on you in that fight. I'm not saying it'll make that battle meaningless, but it'll make that battle less impactful and less meaningful. And I, I don't think it needs to be undone. I think... <laughs> Capcom should focus on like new baddies, new no, new bad guys, new enemies, new story plots. You know this little thing called creativity. It's we, we already have enough um, remakes and reimaginings. We don't need to bring back Wesker. You know you can design new villains, Capcom. It's within your capabilities. Wesker's... Yeah, he was a great villain, but... The point is, his story's been told. His time has passed. <sighs> Although, Chris Redfield looks like he's somewhat gone crazy in this game. I... 
am sort of intrigued to know why he's gone so crazy or what's got him so rattled. If Wesker was still alive, that would definitely rattle him. Because it took... Uh, uh, it took a lot for Wesker to kill... I mean, for, for Chris to kill Wesker in Resident Evil 5. He, he, Jill Valentine, his partner with all his friends, almost got killed. And was thought... Hey, get off me! And was thought to be dead for a number of years. How's it feel? It feels like I'm going to shoot you in the face with my little handgun. <laughs> You're finished. Okay, I am completely out of ammo. That's just great. Um, okay, I have 10 minutes of demo time left. I don't want to die. I, I really don't want to die. Cause really? I, I, I want to show off as much as I can. <sighs> great. Hands off me, creepy bitch. <laughs> creepy bitch with a uh, with like a, 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 a sort of a blood craving. Yeah, I, I know it's vampire traits. You know, this is a sort of adventure where you call the Belmonts to, to, to solve the problem and, and, and deal with it. We, we need the Belmonts. Uh, don't change difficulty. Restart. See, how, see if I can show anything else off. So it looks like death does not mean the end of your playthrough. Oh, but it, it puts you back to literally to the beginning of the demo. I was hoping I'd hit some sort of checkpoint, but no dice, I suppose. From what I remember, Resident Evil 7, depending on which difficulty you played in, the um, checkpoint system activated quite differently. In easy or normal mode you had checkpoints but if you played the game in hardcore mode you had to use the um the um save stations and the cassette tapes to save your data and you had a limited amount of cassette tapes okay yes you also have the save stations in um the were in easy and standard difficulty as well but when you play the game in hardcore mode or you literally have the cassette tapes. You had to rely on that. Wait, the, the Maidens of Harvest. Okay, that's probably got something to do with the vampire, the vampire bitches. Right. Resident Evil Seven. I actually did manage to beat in hardcore mode. It was a, it was a very difficult experience, and it. There were parts of the of of it that at the beginning that was that was just really difficult, but there was only like a few points where once you got over that hurdle, the um, difficulty level felt like it dropped to a I'm going to use the word somewhat here somewhat more comfortable level. Uh, so. Oh, wrong door. This looks like a, like a lever for some sort of mechanism to get me to a secret place, but I'm guessing that's not part of the demo. One sec. 
Okay. Let's see. What else can I explore? Oh, yeah. I'll go back through here. Me. I, I know the further in I go, I'll eventually meet up with uh, the uh, vampire insect lady, but that's inevitable. I can't really do anything about that. Hello, mice. Or rats. Can't really figure out what you are. Too fast. Okay. Let's see, uh, what games have I been playing lately? Well, I've been playing Lost Spear. I think I'm close to the end, but I'm not entirely sure. I have been level grinding just to make sure I'm strong enough for the next uh, boss, because the last time I faced it, it kind of wrecked me. So, yeah. I also recently picked up uh, Dragon Quest V, which is a, a game I've wanted to pick up for quite a while. One of my friends, who I often talk about Dragon Quest with, told me it was the uh, best one. And I, I watched the uh, movie Dragon Quest Your Story on Netflix. And despite what some people say, the movie's good. Okay, the, the ending's a little bit... The, the ending is quite meta in a sort of... In a somewhat weird way, it's a kind of like a Matrix vibe sort of thing. But I'm, I'm not going to say anything else. I don't want to um, give too much away. Personally, if, you, if you're if you a fan of Dragon Quest, I'd say watch the um, Netflix movie, Dragon Quest Your Movie. I mean, Dragon Quest Your Story. And judge for yourself. It's not always good that um, reviews or internet opinions colour your opinion. Sometimes it's, it's good to form your own opinions and, and experience the uh, movie for yourself before you make such a harsh judgement. Although in the past I have literally looked up reviews online and not gone to see a movie. Although sometimes that, that, that has actually been a, a been a good plan. Example, Dragon Ball Evolution. I was actually going to go to the cinema and see that, but then uh, I heard some bad things. I thought, nah, I'm not going to bother. And I was right, because Where have they taken Dragon Ball Evolution was trash. Mask. Wait. Mask the angel's gaze and only when you will be saved. Okay, that's a very long and complicated puzzle. I'm not solving that in the, in the little time I have left. Oh! Oh, we meet again? No, we haven't met. Luke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the Lady of the Castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Okay, this is the uh, merchant for this game. I'm not... I don't think he's a bad character, and it's not just because of what he looks like. I don't know, he... Naturally. He... I suppose he just doesn't... I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. He's... I don't know, he doesn't have the um, same... appeal as the um, merchant that I loved from Resident Evil 4. I, I've always been a fan of the merch for Resident Evil 4. He's just his, um... I saw you the, the, the way he talks, his, um... His, um... Characteristics, his swagger, just his, um... Yeah. Where, uh, where, where, where is this guy? Yeah. He just... 
he seems like a... Uh, oh, what's the word? Maybe a little bit too mundane. Looks kind of like a mob boss. You know, I'm, I'm getting a fat Tony sort of vibe from The Simpsons. He, he just... He just doesn't do it for me. I've met more interesting merchants. <laughs> you know, he, he hasn't got the um, classic phrases like, Stranger, stranger, that's a nice weapon. What are you buying, stranger? Guns not not just about shooting; it's about reloading. You know, just those fun phrases that the uh, one in Resident Evil Four used to say. They, they made him a bit more unique, and they added to his character. Maybe this guy actually has some fun phrases later in the game. I don't know. I probably won't get to experience. I mean, yeah, I bought a shotgun off him just now. Is is that? He said, I saw you eyeing that one up. Which is not a bad thing to say. It's, 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 it's got some pizzazz, but it's not exactly... Um... Okay, I've got someone's diary here. The point is that I, I, I just want a bit more pizzazz in the um, f phrases. I also liked in Resident Evil for the fact that you could shoot these medallions. Say if you shot 10 out of 20, you got a free handgun. And it was quite a decent handgun. You could, um, okay, just got some more coins. Could have got a, a lift here. Appears to be broken. And I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, do anything about that in the 27 seconds that I have left over. Well, I suppose dying wasn't so bad. We got to see the merchant. We got to experience his shopping experience. But, yeah. Right, I'm not going to be able to show much more of this. Uh, it appears our time has run out. I suppose we'll watch this trailer one more time, then I'll discuss a few things, and then I'll call it a day for this video. It appears to be the same trailer. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. It's a shame they didn't like have two different trailers, you know, one, one for each demo. It, it would be... Um, it would be nicer if uh, if they had two different trailers. Yeah. But again, I suppose Capcom's worried about showing off too much of their game. But yeah. Oh yeah, the game comes out in May. Okay, got the creepies children. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped, my We've got a tall the tall lady again. <laughs> Let's see how special you are. Vampire lady still? <laughs> Resident Evil has all that's left. That's the um, group of villagers who died in the first demo. I would like to see at least one of them live. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. That strikes me as some sort of arena fighting contest thing where you might fight a, a horde of enemies to earn the right to escape. I know the word lichen means a human turns into a werewolf. Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan 
Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. <laughs> I wonder who's behind Kill that um, weird mask. I mean, I've seen characters in Resident Evil wear weird um, binocular gas mask things before. The, 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 the two that immediately come to mind are Hunk and the non-canon character, which is kind of like a... I suppose a joke character is Lady Hunk. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see what, what we got here. So like I got a four out of eighteen, and a four out of twenty-five. So I, and I'm guessing that was some sort of like collective levels. Hmm. Wait, what? Huh. Okay. This is a, this is a newer surprise. Looks like we might be getting like a third demo to play in the next six days, four hours and twenty odd minutes. Hmm. Intriguing. Puzzling. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with those words to describe my s sentiment on that. So overall, what did I think of this demo? It was a an interesting experience. Not a fan of the um, vampire ladies though, they really creep me out. It's, they're very unsettling. Anyway, I might come back and make a new video within like a week or so on the possible third demo that we can play. I was under the... Um, I was under the uh, standing that there was only going to be two demos, the village and the castle. So, yeah, this is a unexpected turn of events. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.